This last year we experimented putting some cover crops on some uh, uh, highly erodible ground. We flew on cereal crop. It was on irrigated corn and I actually flew it on a little bit late, but we got some nice rains and it got some good height, probably six or eight inches and really looked look good. One of the big advantages of uh, cover crops can be if you're gonna have cattle out there that they can take advantage and utilize the cover crop for feed. I think there's some pros and cons that I can think of at this point. Um, there are additional costs with that and maybe a little extra management. I do have some concerns about as far as the moisture that cover crops can take. I'm experimenting to see if that's um, true or not. I think it depends upon what type of weather you get and when the rains come. I'm a little concerned about when we kill the cover crop and so forth. Sometimes you get a cool spring and it, it, the herbicide might not work as well. One thing that I'm, I do have some concern with also is the cost for one thing, but having to do extra operations. I try to really minimize the, my operations on, on each acre and so forth, and that seems like one of the things that you have to manage. You know, there's uh, more microbial activity. I know that's one of the things that um, they talk about, and that's why we're experimenting to kind of see the advantages. and, and Hopefully that's something that might take us to the next level beyond just no-tilling and keeping residue on the ground. You know, and cover crops may be that next step and that's why I never want to close a door to, uh, until I know that it's not going to work. And, and every area can be different as far as uh, the advantages or disadvantages that the cover crop might hold.